Now Rebekah's in the background, and these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah, and she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau is touching thee, doth comfort himself, purposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice, and arise, flee thou to Laban, my brother, in Haran. You see here again Rebekah taking things in her own hands, and she tells Jacob now, you're going to have to leave home, and she's going to send him away from home. Tell the truth. She really paid for her part in this, her sin. She never saw this boy alive again. She just sent him over there for a little while, but she died before he got back. And you must remember that Jacob was her favorite and that Esau was Isaac's favorite. And she wants to send him now over to Laban, her brother. And Jacob will go over there. And believe me, that's where he's going to learn his lesson. That's where chickens will come home to roost. Old Uncle Laban is going to put him in school and he's going to teach him a few things. Now, Jacob thought he was clever, but Uncle Laban was an expert at it, and poor Jacob was just an amateur, and he's going to cry out in desperation to God before it's all over. Now, notice what she says. Tarry with him a few days until thy brother's fury turn away. A few days, a few days lengthened out to 20 years. And during that interval, why, she died. She never saw her boy again, her favorite, her pet, if you please. Now, verse 45, Until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? And after all, Esau's not going to think too much of his mother after this little episode, by the way. And now we read here, And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? Now, you see, Esau had married these heathen, the godless, and already it was bringing Sarah into the home, and even Rebekah was overwhelmed by it. Now, she says if Jacob turns around and does this same thing, and he probably will if he stays here, you see, she can use this as an excuse to get Jacob away from the home because Esau is seeking for his life. And that moves us now into chapter 28. And she has a little conference with Isaac. And Rebecca and Isaac determine now that the thing to do is to send Jacob back to the family of Laban, back where Rebecca had come from herself, you see. Abraham's servant had gone and gotten her. Now the point is to send Jacob back there to get a wife. If you get him away from the place of danger, his brother would try to kill him. Now, very frankly, I think if he'd stayed there, that probably that would have happened. However, the fact of the matter is that Rebekah died first, and Jacob did get back for his father's 